Hello everybody, it's Ogal here and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. The game about conveyor belts. That's what it feels like. I love it. Um, so you guys see I have a little bit of a ceiling here now. I, I just played around with it and then I, I, I wanted to get an idea of what it looks like and then I just finished it because it's just concrete. Um, and the scaffolding up here, this walkway, I kind of have it set in place now where I want it to be and as far as I want it to go, right? I just wanted to be able to come over here so I can see if the concrete is coming out, if the fuel goes in. I switched over to wood because we're, we're out of leaves. We have a couple more now leaves because I did a little bit of uh, harvesting around the area when I placed items. Um, yeah, and the cables have been done for a while now, for a long time. The cables have been filled to the box. It makes them so fast and you barely need them. And everything else is still running. Um, so let me show you what it looks like on the very top now. Um, by the way, oh, I didn't didn't show that. Let, let me run back over here for a second so I can show you. You guys see that these, these foundations go halfway down because it's a half foundation. But it's enough room to walk around here. And when you look from the outside, it almost looks like they're like blast doors halfway down. So I'm okay with the design. I don't want to go one higher because I don't feel like I'm, I need the room. There, there's no need to go higher than that and this way it just makes the factory taller and taller because we're gonna have so many more stages and well, still not um, set on where they're actually gonna be but this is what it looks like on the top here so it's ready we can add more machines bring in more iron and and so on and you guys see this little walkway over here because we might be building something up here today and up here I cannot cover so this is always gonna be open um, I don't know if I go any higher if I could close it. I probably never will because it's just going to be really awkward when the freighter here takes off and it would fly through ceilings or anything like that. So yeah, so this is what it looks like from up here. But now let's get going because I need to work on power. Oh, I gotta run all the way around because I only have one... Well, I have two stairs going up here, one in the middle and one over behind the storage area. That's the one we set up together, but this is the one I added. Just so it's quick up here. I don't know if it stays here or not. I don't know. But right now, I don't have any need for the room. Oh, yeah. And I also brought the the sky elevator to right here for now. Because that way, I just need to run out here and I can access it. Um, yeah. It's not in the way. It's easy to move. All right. But we're going to go ahead. And first, let's go ahead and get this research over here that we started last episode. What? Did we, yeah, we did the mycelia. That's the one. But let's see what this is going to tell us. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Aha, uh -huh, so it wants more mycelia. I brought the barrel nut. Let's go ahead and do this one real quick and then we'll do the mycelia later when this one is done. This only takes five minutes. So, fabric. Um, so that is under here. Oh, okay, I can switch over here. Fabric. I need to make some fabric and then biomass. Okay, we'll do this here in a minute because today we're gonna first do coal power. It's really time I would like to get to the coal stage because then we have endless power. I don't need to worry about biofuel anymore. We still have a lot, but it would still be nice to switch over as soon as possible. Oh, I already made all the things, I forgot. Figured I'd save us some time. So there's 25 of the reinforced plates. It's 25 rotors. Uh, 500 of you and 200 of you. And freighter, off you go. I want to see what this looks like with Milestone it starting range. in here. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. Okay, very nice. So, let's go ahead and scan for this and find out where the closest one is. Oh my. 946 meters. Or 1,300. So, we we'll guess we're going to start with the 946 meters and that's very far to walk and also dangerous so what we're gonna do is build ourselves the tractor that's what it's called right here vehicles we got two now there's a truck station from what i understand is you can have these being automatically fueled loaded and unloaded 
and you can also set up um, what is it called autopilot so you can record a track and then they will follow that track so we could use this to load and unload the coal if we wanted to they can actually hold a lot 25 slot inventory but I'm a little bit worried in our terrain to do that. So I think if for the first coal factory, because it's only 946 meters only, 946 meters away, we're going to still run ourselves some conveyors. So, um, wrong, wrong thing right here. I want to add this here to see what I need. I need two modular frames, five beacons. I think I have two beacons over here. Yes, I do. All right, so I got finally a spot empty again. And then let's see if we can craft the rest. Oh, you... Oh, yes, I totally forgot, guys. Right here. I put down the... Uh, because I f we forgot to set this up last episode. Well, I forgot. The equipment workshop. So I put this over here in the area because I don't see ourselves putting a constructor or anything here. So for now, this is a good spot so I can still access this here. So let's go ahead and make five more beacons because I would like to have two on me so I can still mark something right when we set out and we need two modular frames let's see if I can craft these modular frames take so I need six reinforced plates just for now I'm pretty sure we're gonna need more to make the the coal factory whatever that thing is called and I need 10 rotors I can make those as well real quick there we go and now the two modular frames all right so we can set this down and I guess we're gonna I think it was this way right yes so we're gonna put this out front over here so I have a good place this is a good parking spot right here let's go ahead and place this tractor <laughs> the thing is so awesome I love it. Okay, so number one is it comes with a fully equipped workbench. That is really cool, right? And the vehicle itself also has a lot of storage, and we got to give it fuel. Um, and the nice thing is, you know, when you're out on the tractor and you run out of fuel, you just chop down some leaves or anything like that. So I think that a lot of things are going to go into this tractor that we usually take with us on explorations, right? So let's go ahead and get that stuff. We're going to need... I want to take the chainsaw. I want to take... Actually, there's not much in here that I want to take. Let's take this fuel. And then also let's take... Oops. Let's take... However many. This many berries so we can heal on the go if we need to. And I'm sure we can find more. And the rest will leave in here for now. Yeah, so we'll put all this out here. I'm definitely going to take more fuel with me, though. And then I have to prepare some stuff for what we need on our trip. Um, I do want to bring some concrete, just in case, that we're going to put in the truck. And I want to get closer. Come on. And um, Wow, look at this. We have a lot of fuel. I'm going to bring this much. And just to show you guys, uh, we're working on the rest of the wood. And then I have a little bit of leaf. So this is perfect. I don't need to farm anymore. So, the other stuff I want to bring. Let's just bring some of this. I'm just going to pack up my inventory here real quick. Because, like I said, I need to craft a bunch of items. And the rest I'm going to put in the tractor. And can I get some more? Wait, wait, over here. Plates. Um, can I top you off? No, I can't. All right, let me go ahead and see... Um, let's do it this way. So what we're going to need for this trip is here power. I'm going to need to make one coal generator over there. Because that's going to provide the power that far away to actually power the... Right here. Miner MK1. Now, I'm going to make enough materials for two. Just in case there's two coal nodes, like, right next to each other. I don't know. Right? It could be. So these are all the things over here that I need to make to bring with us. And let's start with the two portable miners. I don't have enough space in the inventory. Okay, guys, let me just get all this stuff together so we have everything. And then I'm also going to stock up on um, all the items to make the conveyor belts. All right. Uh, the truck is full, or the tractor, I should say. And 
I have all the materials over here. I'm probably going to have to make some of them again because I decided before we set out, we're actually going to research the rebar gun because we're going to go far. And from our excursion, uh, I learned that it is a very dangerous place. So if I can defend myself better, I would not mind that at all. So there we go. Unlock the rebar gun. You going to say anything, Ada? No. Okay, and I'm going to guess that the rebar gun is crafted in this thing here. So let's check that out. Okay, so rebar gun. I just need to make six of these. And then spiked rebar. Oh, that's nice. It only takes iron rods. Very cool. And let's just do this here real quick. So I just got to make six of these. Um, Might have to pick up screws. Yeah. But it's fine. I can just craft some screws here real quick just to save time. How many do I have? Four, five, six. And I gotta make the rotors again. Cannot forget that. That would be really bad if I go all that way. Wait, what am I? Oh, now I'm missing screws. Okay, no problem. I really like our little storage system here. I, I wonder how extendable, expandable, not extendable, it's going to be. I didn't need this. I need screws. Alright, it's making those quite fast. The iron plates is actually what is the slowest. So I think we're going to have to up our production here eventually. And there we go. Now my question is, the spiked rebar, I want to check real quick. Can I make that? I don't think I'm going to be able to make that in here. Right? Oh, I can! Oh man, that is so sweet. Yeah, check it out. The thing is full. I brought... Just in case I gotta craft something. I don't know what I'm gonna need. And I would hate to go 963 meters to only figure out that I forgot one item or something. So I wanna just bring everything. Okay. So I'm gonna craft up... I don't know. I'm gonna craft up 100 and... Well, let's just check it out first. How fast does it shoot this stuff? Let's reload. Wait, it puts one at a time? I don't want to shoot it. Well, actually, let's see. One shot. Okay. I don't know. Did I just pick it back up? Let's check. So I got 17. No, they just despawn. All right. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to need 180 of them, but I'm going to craft up probably like 50 or 60 because we can craft the rest on the go. And I actually think we're done. We're, I just gotta make these rotors and then we can set out. And it's only probably around noon, so that's good. Okay, so it stacks up to 50, so I'm gonna stop right here. I just left a couple of parts behind, so I have a little bit of inventory room in case, you know, we find slugs or anything like that, because the truck is completely full and I am completely full. And let's go ahead and put fuel in here. Okay. There we go. And then... Oh, it shows you when you hover over this what you have in it? I don't know. So, e to drive tractor. Oh, you know what? Let me let me get off here. I just want to turn this off on the side. So, what do I have up there? We have the Miner MK1. Let's uncheck these and uncheck this here. The, the things that I brought the most is iron plates. And I think there's more in here, right? Yes, because if I need to run this giant conveyor belt... Can I look behind me? Oh. Alright. Oh, this is so neat. This is so neat. I really like that. Alright. Let's go ahead and scan. So I know. I think I gotta go this way. And maybe it's gonna ding it. Come on. There we go. Ah, perfect. Let's see. I think that we came from the opposites wait this is the way that we went exploring you can see how much iron i have in the area there's i think altogether seven nodes around this little valley which is going to be very useful later on so i think that this yeah it destroys terrain plants and so on so i i want to be careful with that i don't want to destroy things if i can avoid it and my other thing is if anything is going to attack me on this. That's the one thing I don't know yet. 
There's an. I'm gonna leave this berry. I'm not gonna bring it. We have plenty on us, or in the truck, I should say. Oh, hello. One of those weird plants. So there's another one. I, I'm just gonna get out of your way. All right. First test. I'm gonna stop right here. Are you gonna attack me? Are we cool? I mean, you should be scared. You have a giant. Whoa. Okay, that sucks. Um. Can I get you to close again? But then the one behind me is going to open. How am I going to get through here? Come on. Close again, plant. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to back up far. So these plants close and then I'm just going to punch it to get through there. I'm still waiting for this plant over there. I still see gas, even though I'm really far away. But I decided we're going to try this gun out on this dog over here. Where you at? I saw you walking over here. There you are. Let's see if we can snipe him. Can I right click? No. Okay, it doesn't shoot just short. You guys saw that, right? You're gonna stay right there? Two shots! That's nice. Alright. Why why is it giving me a, a red thing here? Am I near gas? And where's the carapace? It's up here. Okay. Oh, this thing here. Oh boy, oh boy, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Alright. Did I pick this one? I did. Alright, too bad. So now I gotta heal up. Oh, there it is. How many did I get? Just one. So now I went really far away, almost back to the base, and getting back there, and I want to try something. I equip the chainsaw, and I want to know if it's possible that if I drive up to one of these plants, get off and chainsaw it. Because this does not have a future. I cannot have these gas monsters in my way every time come on all right i cannot cannot destroy these all right now this one released its gas and that's just great i i don't i'm not a fan of this i don't know how to get around this so i think we're just gonna punch it just get through here i need to get past these see you later and we're gonna hang a right over here. I'm gonna just hold my breath. Hold your breath. Took half a heart or whatever this is called. All right, and these mobs do not attack me. All right, very nice. Ah, this is so stressful. I don't know why. So, but now we're safe. I'm gonna have to get off here real quick and just rescan. I don't see any baddies. Okay, let's just rescan. And also change back to this guy. I wonder if it's this way. Or I think it's... Oh, 334 meters. It's already there. So I should probably take a left down here instead of staying up high. Let's not drive off the cliff. Or oh, I should say now a right. Oh, whoa, what is this? I don't want to drive over this. Ah, uh, I gotta kill two dogs to get that. I do want to pick it up, though, because I don't know if I'm ever gonna find this again. Let's see if I can snipe this guy. Nope. Way too short. You at? What am I not hitting this guy? Get. Oh, I thought he was dead! Because <laughs> he stopped. Where's he at? 
That was a miss. I, I give it that one. Okay, I suck with this gun. Sit down, finally. I always hear the second one. Where you at, Zumi? That was a hit. That was not. Oh my god, I suck at this. Alright, I think I did better when I just used the other thing. Alright, so can I come up here and grab this now? I think it's probably one of those work in progress things again, isn't it? Yes. A Mercer Sphere. I think we have one of them already. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, another scan. And I'm not even going to heal up right now. So 216 meters, it looks like... It might be on the other side of the water. But we really haven't gone that far. Conveyor is not going to be too hard to run here. Wow. Ooh. Wreckage. Cool. I'm definitely going to get these dogs from uh, some higher ground. So I'm going to guess it's up here on this plateau, isn't it? It's getting night, so... This is going to suck, but... Get up there and then maybe kill off all of these other ones. There's some barrel nuts. Does this thing have a light? No, it does not. Oh, hello. There's our friend. Oh, one of you guys left me a comment saying that I should feed this guy. Are you kidding me? Is it in gas? Okay, you guys said to feed this thing. Now, I thought that we tried that already. The feeding. Where did I get this? I'm out of... Oh, it just exchanged the fuel. Sorry. I guess I'll leave this in here so I don't need to carry it now. Alright, let's get these out and let's put this back in here. So... I don't hear any growling. Where did it go? There you are. So I'm pretty sure we tried the feeding. How do I drop something? Um... Okay, I need inventory room, guys. Sorry, I'm going to turn on the light to swell in a second. Let's just get rid of the spool. And put this back in the inventory. And then stack out one of them. Alright, let's put it... Come here. Are you going to want this? It's coming. Alright, so you like that, huh? Let me give you another one. Okay, why is it so hard to split? It's so sensitive. Where did it go? Huh. He is down there. Alright, I'm not gonna mess around with this. Alright, let's scan again. I would... Eight. Oh, it there did you guys see that? It looked like they pink two of them. Hmm. I see two dogs over here. Oh hello. Quick, equip this. Nice! Four shots, it killed and it never hit me. I likey. Are you guys giving us anything? Organs. Yummy. So what is this? Is this the coal? Coal! Yes! Yes, we found it. I right, let me bring the truck a little closer. And it's not in the gas area, which makes me very happy. Alright, let's see what the thing can do. Can you drive up there? Get up there! Yes! <laughs> the thing is cool. Alright, so now um, I feel safer with this right next to me. 
because I can also use it as cover. So, I guess the first thing I want to do is put one of these down here so I actually get some starting coal. Oh, um, wait, do I need to? No. Let's put the thing right there. All right, this is going to start making us some coal. And then just to save on things, we're actually going to take out the fuel right there. Oh my god, I have no room at all. Um, let's put this in here. But soon we're going to make a little bit of room here and put this in here. We're going to use coal for our way back. Um, all right, I think that we can put down the first one just to make some room here. So we're going to go ahead and put down one miner. What am I missing? A little bit of iron bars. Uh, da -da. So. And I forgot now. How much of this... How much does this... 120 per minute? Wait, has it always been 120 per minute? So that's gonna be bananas. Because this regular belt here only does 60... So, 120 is... If I upgrade them eventually... Today, I, I don't have the the hardened plates with me. So, I'm only... I'm only gonna leave this one here for now. I mean, there's no reason for me to even set up a second one. I might do it just so I, I have it here. Right? And you're probably good. Let's just go ahead and pick up the miner. It's not gonna let me... Because I am full again. Okay, time to build the... The coal power... Coal generator. All right, where's the input on the thing? Right there. Okay, and then so we're gonna have. Well, one. Why don't I just use this one here for right here, and then we use the other one to go back, and then once we have really good conveyors, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and move the thing. I mean, this is not gonna be a problem. So let's go ahead and conveyor you up, like that, and then we're gonna put one of you right here, and then we're gonna wire this up to the coal generator, and this to that one. Okay, and now if I take out, can I pick you up now, do I have room? Yes, pick up miner, so it's gone, but I can put this one, give it some fuel. So, it's gonna be powering this, which it feeds it back into here, so I have endless power over here. I never need to worry about, you know, um, running power lines or anything over here. I like that. And then, okay, so where's home? Home is this way. And I'm not gonna build the conveyor through the gas cloud, because that's just stupid. If I do that. So, we're gonna go and kind of follow the path that we're driving. And then when we get close to the base where the other gas clouds are we're gonna go ahead and figure a route around it okay so how am i gonna do this so i'm always gonna go on the highest setting so we're gonna come about over here just so i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna be able to drive underneath this and I should power this up already, because otherwise I need to come back here. And this way the coal is just going to follow us. Here we go. And just to make my life a little bit easier right now, I'm going to wait the night out, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and kill a bunch of these dogs that were here and down below. So I was going to go over there and kill these dogs, like I said. And I find our fella here. I'm going to pet him. Press E to see if Lizard Doggo has found something. Okay, um... Sorry? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I guess I wasn't fast enough? Go ahead, I can heal this half one. Alright, I, I thought there was something gonna happen here, but I didn't expect it to just despawn by me reading the tooltip. How did he get next to me? Oh my god, I can't see anything. Uh, 
But I might as well have a look around here while I'm in the vehicle. Oh, little freeze up there. I just want to see what this area is. And also, what is this thing down there? I think... Yeah, the boba trees are over there. That's where we explored. But we never really came into this deserty biome here. Now, should I risk running to the thing here? Can I get back up? Yeah, I can get back up over there. Are you... Oh my god, what is going on? What is this stuff now? Oh my god, they're like bees or something. They're gonna own me. I know it. Let's just run. Oh my god. Okay, I need to switch quick, quick, quick. Where is it? This one. I, I think I went one, two, maybe. They're so squirmy. Where you at? Three. Get some. Come here. Really? How are you supposed to hit these? Four. They cost me half my hive. Okay, stay away from weird looking stuff from now on. <laughs> Uh, but did this drop anything? Did this give me anything? Oh, I almost jumped down there. Get, I'm very framey in this area here. I don't know. Okay, I want to see now that I got rid of this pest. Is this something I can loot? Alien carapace. Is this the same one? Yeah, okay. So this is definitely not worth going after because I have so many of those. And if I can only make biomass with that, I really don't care about it. Oh. Is there another dropped ship here? Circuit board? A motor? I do not know why I'm so framey right now. I might have to restart. But there's also updates every other day, so who knows? Maybe it's not even on my end. So, where's the rest of... Oh, it's all the way up there. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, if we ever need these computers... A oh, hard drive, sorry. For stuff, then, you know, we're going to make an episode where we just go out and explore and... I, I don't have any power or anything here anyway, so that's fine. Okay, now back on track. Let me get back in the tractor. Right down here, you guys see, this is how far we got. And I just figured I'd peek in over here and check it out. I crashed twice so far uh, coming to this point here. Uh, down here is where those gas plants were, where we took a hard right. And as soon as I get close to them, they all be up. There it is again. I, d I don't even... This, this plant right here already triggers. So I don't want to run the conveyor through there. And the base is right there, obviously. You guys can see the huge space elevator. So I was wondering if I am going to just build a bridge right here. We haven't done that yet. And, oh, by the way, over here in this coral was a green power slug. Um, I used a chainsaw. I couldn't get to it, and I destroyed some of the coral. You can get that. Um, the corals don't give you anything, it looks like. So, the base is right here. I don't want to go on this rock, even though there is one of these red things up there. But, like, if I build a bridge right to over there. And let's just see if I can figure out how to do that. If that is going to be doable. So, if we... I guess I'm gonna just make a manual bridge first, just to get an idea if it's even worth it, right? And then we can make it possibly vehicle ready. So, let's just come over here. And then like right here, I'm gonna have a step up. Just to make this a gradual slope. So let's say every... That would be two. Every second one will make one of them. Hopefully that's enough um, increase in the slope and if not then I'll just need to redo it that's fine oh, right there's another one I mean there's no physics in the game so why not right so you know what let's just put this here and then hopefully I have enough parts to make a few St why can I not place you anywhere here Okay, let's just put you right there and another one. And that should be enough. 
possibly. Yes. All right, and then be careful because there might be things up here. Speaking of the devil. And I hear two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. Oh my god, I'm right next to the edge. I just thought of that. I hate when they move just last second and I'm jumping right into them. Sit down. And where's the other one? Sit down. Ah, oh, I did better with the... Okay. I did better with the hand tool on these guys, honestly. Oh, that sucked. All right. But I did find a lot of them. I have more than I set out with, so that's okay. All right. So where was I? Um, We came up from... Here, right there. And let's just scout this out. This is interesting that there's mobs here, but I already harvested these, so I must have been up here before. I am finally done. This took a long time, actually, to run this conveyor. Much longer than I expected, but it is totally going to be worth it. And I just wanted to show you guys the, the rest of the way now. So you can see we got this nice little path here going up that... Um, it's going to be super useful in the future uh, if I need to go back out this way so I don't need to mess with these gas plants. That's a little narrow right here. And then right here is that first crash site that we did um, after the episode where we did the exploring. Where we ran the power to. So that's the very first one. And we come then over here and we're going to split. There's a limestone right here if I ever need more. So I kind of took the conveyor around it. And the conveyor goes left, and we are going right. It looks like it's going to drop off, but it's actually okay. Um, we can drive up and down here. And then we are back at the base. Oops, I forgot that I put this here a minute ago. This is where I want to put the... Um, the coal generators. Man, this truck is loud. There's two iron here. Oh, I forgot the corner. I gotta fix that. I, I, I left it open on this side because I don't know how wide, uh, how much room I'm going to need. So we're just gonna leave this guy here. I also cleaned up a lot, inventory and so on. And I'm, this is kind of the stuff that I want to have in there. So for whenever we set out, we have a little bit of everything. Lots of iron plates to run conveyors. Um, I think the only thing I don't have in here yet is cable. Okay, so I'm going to have to add that as well. I just want to have the truck ready so whenever I set out... I probably won't use it much or not every episode because we're mostly going to spend time in the base. But I put this little scaffolding around here just so I cannot fall off, as I'm <laughs> known to do while building. And the coal comes in right here. It comes down to there. And I'm, I might rearrange this to come over here and then down. I'm not sure yet, but it is there. And I also have to... I want to do that right now. Otherwise, I forget. Sorry, guys. I put a beacon there um, called here so I knew where I needed to go because it was so confusing up there on that plateau but I can remove this now hello okay pick up beacon lost my mouse there for a second I crashed one more time so it's three crashes for today whenever it gets framey it's starting to get framey now so I don't know if it's actually OBS interfering with it or what's happening no idea all right let's go ahead and see coal generator so i do want the actually is there a reason to have the coal going in the back no we, we don't have any output so we can just have the coal coming from the front so we can also see it and i want to put these as far back as i possibly can let's just see what this looks like i don't want it to be clipping in there okay so that's a little bit too far so let's go forward just a smidgen here like half a tile So I can, I don't want to go onto the scaffolding. So let's go right here. So this is how far I had it. So let's come to here. Let's see if it still clips. No, it looks good. And I got lots of running around room. I mean, there's no processing over here. These things are going to be set up and then forget about them. Where is it? Is it not going to show me? Oh, there it is. There's the line. Now, is there any reason... Can I go one further to the right? I can. So, we're going to set these up straight next to each other. 
Just like that, so I can fit as many as I want. Right now, I made enough for six. Which is gonna be three times the power that we have now. Each one of them makes 50 mega. It looks so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna have to add a little bit more. I can leave this, but we need to pick this up. And over here, I have nothing. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to place a lot of foundations and then I also can't forget to fix the corner that I didn't do let's put one underneath one next to it oh I'm out of concrete All right, a little while later here I had to do a lot of thinking I I just couldn't split this up with six the way I wanted it so I added two more now we have eight <laughs> it's a lot easier to split with eight um, and if we don't have enough coal don't forget we have we're only using half of the miner back there right now. Now, number one is we can upgrade all these conveyor belts. So we get 120 instead of 60. And if that is not going to be enough, I just need to run a second one, right? But let's just set it up and see how it works. Um, and over here, I made a staircase going up here. So I have a better overview, right? It's much easier to do this if I can look down from here. Now, why do I want to split this up? The reason I want to split this up is, think about it this way, we have 60 coming in. If I split it up over here to go into the first one, I split 30 into this one and 30 down the line. And I split it up into that one, I send 15 this way and 15 that way. And then right here already, it's going to be 7.5 and 7.5 and to this one or here, right? So you always half it. So what you need to do is split it in the middle and let's see if we can figure this out. So I'm, I'm just going to place the conveyors here willy-nilly right now. And then once we have it figured out, I'm going to align them better and so on. So right here is the main splitter. This is going to split the 16 230s, right? And then the 230s, I need to split up over here. Now it's going to come out over here and I can... I guess I can come straight into here. But that's going to look ugly. So let's do it like this. Um, if it's aligned with here... It's going to have to be in the middle of these four over there. So right here. But I want to go one, two, three, four over like this. And I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. And like right now, I cannot see if this is centered here. But that's what I'm going to align in a minute. And so from here, it comes in right there. And it's going to split out to right here. And this is what I wanted right there. A nice turn going in like this if I would align it I would have to come out and then back in so hopefully it will work this way and then these oh, we're gonna have to split up into right here and these we can somewhat put in the middle right there right about here and then we can come from this one into that and from this into the actual and I already don't like the way these look so I'm definitely gonna have to straighten this up a little bit and then of course from the other end we're gonna have to put one Let's just put it about. It's about in the middle there. Okay. And from this one into that. And can I get the back one? Oh, I can. Into this one. And of course from here into this. So now I split it up once here. So there's going to be 30 going down. And then we split each one of them into 15s. And then at the actual um, cold generators, we split them up again. Okay, and then the same over here, of course. So now I'm going to spend a couple minutes here and just trying to lay this out a little nicer. And this is always fun running down here. Let me get rid of this so it's not so... You can also kind of jump this. You guys see, you don't really need to run down. Okay, so let's get rid of the conveyors first again. And before we lay out the rest of them, I actually want to bring in the main line to this one. And see if I need to move this forward or anything like that, right? You guys know I want my conveyors to be nice. Yeah, that there's no other way of splitting. I was just thinking if I use the scaffolding. But I don't need the room back here. Okay, so right here, I think that I need to redo this up here. I don't think I have it... Con I, I cannot have it come down over here. So I'm going to take this off. And this, now I got a bunch of coal in my inventory, but that is fine. And you know what? It would be best if we come from up here. So let me just put the conveyor pole in a somewhat straight line. And let's go 
up one. Just in case there's a lot of brush and stuff up there. And then from here, we should be able to... It's too steep. Really? Wow. Okay. Let's try this again. And bring it forward as far as we can. Maybe now? It's still too steep. Ha! Huh. So how am I going to get down here? So it was going over this way and then down. So this time I'm just going to come around the other side of this um, limestone deposit. And we're going to come down to here. And then this is going to make a very sharp turn. Let's see if I can come to like right here. Yes. And then from here to this one, I think it's too long. No, it is not. Okay, so I'm going to hook this one up last, guys. I don't want any coal in here already because I now already have 104 on me from taking down the conveyors. And I don't want to have to mess with this again. But this one right here works, right? So we're just, instead of coming from up there, we come from here. And like I said, now it's all about me just aligning these here better. And I got to remember exactly where this was. Actually, is it maybe already aligned? No, it needs to go a little bit to the left. I just want it perfectly centered. Okay, so it was just beyond the grating here. So like this, right? But I have to turn this so the input is right there. So this one should have a nice spin without me having to fiddle with this at all. Perfect. I like this. Okay. And then these right here... We're gonna move back a little bit. So this one is offset exactly one width. So between these two, I have to find the, it's right there, right here. So if I put it right there, it should be centered between these two. Nope, it's a little bit too far to the left. Right here. Now, is this exactly one width off? I think so. Let's see what it looks like. Again, perfect bend. I like it. And now these right here, I'm I'm going to have to adjust because you guys see they get these weird angles and I'm not a fan of this. So I'm going to have to put one, I think, right here. I know that it's funny that it's just a small piece there, but now this should get a 90 or a, the sharpest corner possible. I like that. Okay. Right? Yeah, it is. It's as good as we're going to get it. So I'm going to have to do the same on this side. Come on. All right. Very good. Whoa. Pressing all the buttons. Okay. And then this one here should be no different. Should have... Oh, this is not moved yet. I'm like, whoa, why is this different? Okay. So this is the center. And if I press right there it's gonna show me all right it's gonna align with this one over here and i did this the wrong way i don't want to mess that up so right here and now we should get that nice bend wait is this the same then over here i know i'm very picky when it comes to that this is nice yeah this is good i mean it's not perfect but this is very close to being perfect so i'm okay with that and then let's do the same over here. So before I hook up the last line for the coal, I want to turn off the biomass generators because as soon as coal goes in, I want to see if, if, if they're filling faster than they're producing power, which is actually not a good indicator now that I'm thinking of it because almost everything is done running. This is probably using very little 15 megawatts right now. Okay, but we're still going to turn all of them off because we don't need them anymore. And then I shouldn't have to do anything on the power line. Because we have a hookup outside that has some empty slots. Um, let's go out this way. Yeah, that's fine. You guys see I, I made a little platform to run around. I also made extra stairs to go into the base if I want to on this side. But the hookup I'm talking about is this one right here. So if we bring down... 
let's go from here. Oh yeah, they don't uh, align if I don't put them manually. From here to there, you guys see, now I'm back in the main power grid. Um, there's no reason for me to run this any different. So now the last thing I'm going to have to figure out is how am I going to hook up these guys. Um, so I'm going to say, let's see, can I put one here? Yes, so let's put one here and that's going to be connected to this one. And then I'd say this one goes to that one. And then I'm always going to have one. Yeah, just at the edge of each one of these. And when I say edge, it's this edge of the actual coal generator that I'm talking about. Tell me I have enough materials. I do. Okay. So now I'm thinking of running this to that, this to that. You see, that way I'm just keeping moving the, the line forward. Um, yeah, like this. This should be perfect. That way I don't need to worry about any of them not having enough um, op uh, open lines and all these things. And then you to there. And now they should all be tied in, right? It looks like it. Okay. And again, if you check this here. Um, oh, it doesn't show me. But I, each one of them does uh, 50 megawatts. So that's going to mean we have 400 megawatts. Right now, with all the biofuel stuff, we had uh, 100. I think. Yeah, 100. That was the max. <laughs> each one of them made 20. So we're going to have power for a lot of expansions, which I like very much. So now let me see if I can grab this from here. Yes, I can. Well, guys, uh, let me, am I recording? Yes, I am. I just double checked on my other monitor because this is exciting. Right there. The, the coal is going to come in and we can see this split from the very beginning all the way to the actual coal generators. I didn't forget anything. This is so cool, man. Look at this set. Oh, I didn't. I totally forgot that we had this walkway over there. There's a green power slug somewhere up there as well. All right, it comes. It comes very slow. This is a slow conveyor, so hopefully we're bringing enough coal. But right now it doesn't matter because when the power jumps back in, we're only going to use like 10. So if these guys are smart, like the bio uh, mass generators, maybe seven of them will be off. We'll see. All right, so there's the first split. And this is what I mean. If I would have come down the line, right, Look how little coal there's already in here. And I would have split this up seven more times. That would have never worked out. So these are going to have a lot less now as well. Oh man, that's... Yeah, we got to get more coal in here. I'm pretty sure this is... This is... I don't know. It they will probably fill up it, uh, between episodes until the next one. Because... We're only using very little because all the storage containers are full. Alright. Oh, look at that go. We're messing up this planet. <laughs> Take our pollution. But we're going. I love it. Alright. I'm going to tear this down here later. I'm, I'm going to leave the walkway to come up here. It's convenient. But the scaffolding over here is going to go away. I just want to see if it shows me a power grid now. Can I see that on these? 350 megawatts. Why 350? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Did I forget to hook one up? Can I walk between these? Yes, I can. Alright, maybe I forgot to hook one up. Oh. The main one. There we go. Now show me the number. 400 megawatts. <laughs> We're using 10 to 15. Ah, this is awesome, guys. Um, let's check here. These are actually filling. Look at that. Let's see how long it takes for this in the last of the line. So now we're up to 7 on this one. You guys see it's going down very slow because we're not using any power. 
Ah, this is so cool. I'm going to just dump these in here. I don't want to carry any of this coal around. There we go. Eventually, these conveyors are going to be all backed up by next episode, I'm sure. I do. Can I? Yeah, let's go upstairs over here. I just want to see what it looks like in the grander of pictures. I had to move this out a couple yards because I added this right here. But we still have lots of room there in the middle. So next episode, we definitely need to tackle the next automations. Um, the whatever they're called. The things... I don't have any on me. The rotors as well as the... The modular frames, I think that's what they're called, and so on. So, we're probably going to start with the second layer up here. Look at this. This is so cool. Well, but that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I, I had a lot of fun making it. It was very cool, especially the tractor. And like I said, don't forget, we will set up some autopilot system in the future for something that is farther away than this coal. Maybe the other coal if I need it. I don't know. All right. But anyways, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.